call the public the public hearing to order on the town plan revisions. Okay, we're waiting for the. So, yeah. It's wrong. <laughs> is is anyone here um, from the public? I'm uh, I'm here, but I just am here to watch. I just have been meaning to uh, check in, and I don't have any comments. Thanks. I thought there was supposed to be a presentation of some kind. No. I mean, we, we had, had it, it last time. Yeah, well, we had it like two ago. You know, <clears throat> really, that was when uh, the true presentation was when Zach yeah. attended Me the meeting and presented everything. So the last one was pretty quiet um, as well. I mean, Julie participated mostly to provide commentary on it, but. Um, but that was it. Okay, never mind. I was going to say that's the. Uh... Yeah, so this is for the town plan. The zoning, yeah. the zoning yeah. amendments are already passed and assuming. No appeal occurs, and I hear the door. So Seth is coming in. Um, no, I'm here from the plan. I'm the member of the planning commission, so I'm here if there's any comment or anything that I can bring back to the planning commission. But yeah, the only thing that um, Zach sent me earlier was he has amended, which it's in the it's on the website, and I provided a copy to the people here in the room. It's essentially kind of the opening introduction to the town plan, and all he did was include the dates of when we've had the hearings and then assuming the board moves forward tonight that the plan would be adopted essentially as of July 11th of 2022. So that's the only, it's, that wasn't really a change to the plan. That was just, he just added those pages just so it was clear that that, that would be included in the, uh, that those revised dates would be included in the, in the final town plan. Yeah, we, we've had, we've had to cancel, we've had to cancel our extra security for our, for the public <laughs> forums. <laughs> um, so it's it's been okay. Um, that's that's kind of why Amy and I did not decide to show up just in case they were going to go over the ramparts. So uh, <laughs> yeah, oh God, but, Scott, what a thing to say. <laughs> but other but other than that, we, we took we took we took the early feedback that we did actually get um, from the public and and incorporated some of it in the in the uh, you know especially when it came to the cell tower stuff or whatever. But. It was pretty, it's been pretty muted out after that, so. Yeah, that's what Zach has told me, that really he felt that a lot of the comment came through your meetings, um, mm -hmm. your hearings, so I, he and I spoke earlier today. We, we expected this to be quiet. Um, so, you know, I, in mm -hmm. the end of the day, I mean, I, we can leave this open as long as you guys want. Have you opened I, the hearing? Yes, mm -hmm. the hearing is open as okay. of now. Um, okay. We can, so you call the hearing door, and, and we're just correct. waiting for people to tune in. So if, but well, I did, my, my note does state that the actual start time for the select board will be after the hearing. Right. And yeah. it can start, we can, it's not like we have to keep the hearing open for right. 30 minutes. So. But we could keep it for a few more. Yeah, we, absolutely. Yeah. I, think it, I, think at least 10, I think at least 10 to 15 is. Yeah, I would think so. Fair. I mean, you don't want to be accused of shortening the hearing. Correct. But what happens to the clock? I don't know. It's not working. Oh, it's not there either. Where did it go? Oh, it's up there. Oh, there we go. I don't know if it's, I was messing with Needs it earlier battery. today. No, we changed the battery. Oh. And it's still not working. It's Maybe supposed to automatically it. set. So, I don't know. And we need a new clock. Yeah. It's okay, I can use my clock. So the major changes in this in this uh, plan is really around cell towers, communication towers, right? Pretty much. <clears throat> yeah, we went over the changes last time. Right. Yeah. You were here. I think you were. Correct. That that was that was really basically the the, the major issue was the yeah. cell towers and the scenic views, and um, we certainly got a lot of feedback early on when we had many we had we had many of our constituents that came to our uh, planning commission meetings and tried to incorporate um, many of their ideas and feelings. And as, as we know, as we all know, the public service um, kind of takes major control over it, but we tried to incorporate um, as, as much as we could into the, into the town plan. Well, they, they, we don't have uh, 
power to say no. Yeah. The public service mm -hmm. board issues the permit. That that that's that's basically that's basically it. Um, but we try to at least put at least put a little bit of muscle into the the scenic views, um, especially because part part of the scenic views on the Jacobs um, Horn of the Moon, some of those ridges were not put into the original town plan, um, and we just tried to incorporate some of that. But yeah, yep. Yeah, we went over them pretty thoroughly. Yeah, yeah. The, 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 the PUC rules, basically. Yeah. I'm just, I'm not sure if Seth's mic is, I'm not sure if that amplifies or I'm not sure if we're hearing him as clearly as we hear Gina. Is this the only mic that's actually- well, What's this thing here? This connecting that's the only one that's actually working for them. Yeah. This one's different, right? I mean, they all... Oh. <clears throat> we don't need to make tech No, that's not connected because we're using theirs. Okay. This is there, right? And this is the yeah. one that always goes, echoes for like half an hour. If we turn yeah, it on. Yeah, we turn those on, let's get weird. How's, so you can't hear me clearly? You're muffled. You're muffled. Oh, <laughs> that's a good thing. Right? That's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you put this? What's that? This is a mic. Try it, try it now. Am I muffled now? Less so. Less so. We can hear you. You're you just gotta talk really loud. Okay. How's that? <laughs> Very good. You're not muffled, you're just kind of faint. 640. We should wait five more minutes. But I I have I think no one else is gonna tune in. Or no one's gonna tune in, basically. Yeah. Probably not. Probably not. I, I took a lot of bets on the under and over. It was somewhere, <laughs> it was somewhere between zero and one as I spoke to Judith <laughs> as she was walking her dog today. I wasn't sure whether it was going to be zero or one on the under and over <laughs> on who was going to show up today. And so zero wins. I would guess that we would have had more people at the first hearing if there was <clears throat> a lot of interest than this one. But I'll never know. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Probably the changes are only of interest to people who might cite cell towers and communication towers. Well, no, they're of <clears throat> interest to the people that wanted to stop the cell towers. That, that was the big thing. That was the push. But if I wanted one and I was interested in it and I lived in those areas, I might show up. But no one really cares that much. So wait, do we need to keep this hearing open? Yeah, we got someone right there. Who's, who's Noah Dillon? Who? Oh. Who? Judith. No, that's Judith. Oh, Judith. That's my right, daughter. That's yeah. daughter. I'm using her laptop. I had an issue with mine, so I'm using her laptop. I guess Katie can... has joined, but she said she was here really just to listen in. So oh. she didn't have any specific comment. Oh. So. Okay. Huh. Well, most people that want cell towers think that the PUC has the final word and they're correct. And they think the town plan is not that important and they're correct. <laughs> most of the people that are going to come to the hearing are people that think that the town plan is important. And whatever. They may take it into, under consideration, but yes, overall, they will do what they want to do. It's, you know, it's it's a five pound weight, not a fifty pound weight. But you, you're 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 right. You're right. So, so. It's a one pound weight versus fifty pound weight. <laughs> <laughs> We're just killing time. <laughs> it's only one. It's only one month. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I move that we adjourn the public hearing. That. 6.43, that sound good? We're yes. Out? Okay. Okay, we're out of the hearing. Um, I'd like to call the select board meeting to order at 6.43.
Do we have any additions to the agenda? I uh, don't see any on the select board menu. Does anybody have any? No? Okay. We have no additions. We have the minutes to review from June 20th. Is anyone read them? I did. I did. I just had a small correction. I, if I could just find it real quick. Um, in just discussing the, um, golly, now I can't find it. Um, when discussing the proposed amendments, the second sentence in the first full paragraph under the proposed amendments to land use and development regulations, um, it provides the proposed amendments focus on certain specific issues. I'm just wondering if we could just say the proposed amendments focus on issues designed to address, so get delete certain and specific, or choose one, not both, either certain or specific. We should say certain, I would think. Okay, so the proposed amendments focus on certain issues designed to address. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. And, I don't recall, and maybe we didn't, I just don't remember, and I didn't look back on the tape, but the proposed amendments were described as intuitive. Was, I don't remember that being said, but I, I don't. What paragraph are you looking at? I'm looking at the, the yeah. Um, I'm looking at the net, the, it's a two sentence paragraph right before Chair Gardner. Oh, we're described as intuitives. Okay. Yeah. I, I just didn't remember that. Um, and that seems like a, um, an unusual description. Um, anyway, I, that's all. If, if it was said, it was said. I just. Um, I don't remember that they used, but. <laughs> If our minutes take her with paying more attention, maybe. Some of us are probably dozing off. Oh. <laughs> I I don't remember that description either, but it's it was probably there, maybe. We can remove it. And if someone wants that specific word, they can always go back to the recording. <laughs> yeah. So I probably said it. Okay. You okay. And that's fine. I think you said it. All right, cool. <laughs> I think we should leave it. It's fine. All right, I make a motion. We accept the uh, the the meeting minutes from June twentieth, two thousand twenty-two, with the minor corrections. With the proposed aye, second. amendments. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. I'm sorry, I missed it. Was it Amy or uh, Judith who made the second? I'm sorry, it's Judith. Judith made the second. They, they, may not, they may not be able to hear you well. Hold on. She's really far from me. Okay. Um, do we have public comment? We do. Oh. Okay. I would like to I would like to thank Gina and Guthrie for their prompt and beautiful work on putting the North Street Sparrow Farm <laughs> sign back up. Seriously. I, I much appreciate it. It's a beautiful glowing sign so seriously thank you for your <laughs> for your prompt and diligent work on putting the sign up we can now if we want to tell people how to get to our house we can and we can <laughs> the sign but anyway thank thank you gina and thank guthrie for uh i will let him know sign. he deserves all that credit i will let him know yes thank you very much that's the end of my public comments Seth. oh you're done okay well thank you for the public comment anybody else want to say anything i don't see anybody all right um let's review the hearing feedback and discussion of next steps so really this is for the board to decide are you comfortable adopting the the town plan amend the amended town plan and yeah. if so we can move forward with a motion to do that and probably should it will be done does anybody have any evening. thoughts about um adopting the plan or negative thoughts or positive thoughts? John, do you have any thoughts? 
no, few. Much, not much of them. A few, no. <laughs> um, I think uh, I, actually, I, I don't think it's going to have a negative impact on anyone. And I think it, it's, it does kind of set the stage for the town to kind of explain to people a little bit about the fact that they don't want to destroy some of their some of the scenic views and have cell towers all over the place. So uh, I think this. So and I so I think it has positive as negative. I don't think there's a strong negative anywhere in it. So. And and just to give reassurance um, reassurance. Um, it's really been well. Reinsurance. Yeah, reinsurance. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's really been well vetted by the planning commission, and we've had lengthy, lengthy, many we spent hours on taking the public comment and and trying to incorporate that into as best we can, knowing what the reality of the situation is, just to give the select board some comfort in um, our vetting process. Yeah, I mean. The people that you have that were pushing you to change the plan, they're, they're not for cell towers, period, I, I believe. So you, you really only heard one side of it, or did you hear both sides? Uh, we, only heard the, we only heard the negative. We did not hear any proponents of cell, town, cell phone towers, but... Um, as far as I know, I did miss I did miss the public hearing that was at the firehouse. But our conversations up to then were the Jacobs Jacobs Road and and um, Horn of the Moon. Recording the Moon. in progress. Sorry, this number I haven't started. Oh man, some of my some of my my my, my jokes. Pithy comments. <laughs> my my jokes were not included. Should I go back? Uh, um, no. <laughs> so that yeah. I don't think we really had any proponents, but it was mentioned that you know silos um, are possible, and that there are some people in town, and you know we would all like better cell phone tower um, service, or we like we would all like better cell phone service. But um, most of it was negative. How can we prevent um, changing our scenic views um, from being altered by cell phone towers? Right. Yeah, I mean, I'm always concerned with who you hear from. You, you always hear from a vocal minority or as a vocal majority. I mean, that's always my, my thought in these matters. But being, being as a decision isn't really made by the town as far as the cell tower, cell tower permit goes. Um, and they did that sort of wisely in a way to take that out of town control because there's a lot of people in these towns that don't want a cell tower, but it's the same mentality as not in my backyard. We want better cell service, but we don't want it in the backyard. So, you know, in any of these processes, we're gonna hear from the people that don't want them and we don't hear from the people that do want them. Mm -hmm. um, but it's not, the language isn't such that it prevents the cell towers. So the criteria that you put in place is, you know, acceptable, I would think, and any developer could still put a cell tower in East Montpelier. They would just have to pay attention to some of the site. Mm -hmm. So I, I think that it's okay for us to adopt the plan. Um, that's my personal thought. I don't know what everyone else thinks. And you, you, you think the same. What do you think, Judith and Amy? Um, I appreciate all of the hard work that's already been done in the vetting process. So, um, I would, I would approve the plan. I'm, I'm thinking that that's our next step or I'd be in support of that. Yeah. What do you think? Me Amy? too. I mean, were you asking me something specific, Seth, like about what I think about cell phone towers or just? No, 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 no. I was just thinking what you think of the amendments that are made to the town plan and whether we should move ahead to well, adopt it. I think those are perfectly intuitive and they were small tweaks to an already polished document. Okay, sounds good. And I noticed your word, use of the word. Intuitive. Intuitive. <laughs> so, I'll remember it now. Now I'll remember it. <laughs> and I, I think our minister taker nailed you on that. And uh, thank you. <laughs> okay, so let's make a motion to adopt the amendments to the town plan. So moved. All right. And Judith, you're seconding? Okay. Okay. And all those in favor, please say aye. 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 aye.
Aye. Aye. The ayes have it and it is passed unanimously. So that takes care of the town plan hearing and the feedback that we got and the next step. All right. Um, the next thing on our agenda is the town treasury report. Is that something you're doing? Yes. Okay. And we have some stuff to yes. look over. You have a monthly report. Now the numbers are still not final um, because obviously we're at year end. Um, so we're closely monitoring every invoice that is received yeah. as to which fiscal period it goes in. Right, right now we are at a uh, deficit of um, just under 25,000 and actually it's another two grand mm -hmm. lower. I think we're at around 22 right now because we did find in the review of the warrant one invoice that actually needed to move oh, yeah. into into 23, into yeah. fiscal year 23. So that reclassification was made after the um, this report was done. Um, so we're essentially just closely monitoring, you know, for the next 30-ish or so days you know, any invoices that come in and ensure they're captured in the correct fiscal year, but this is where we stand as of now. So we have a small deficit. Yeah, just a small deficit. Yeah. So, kind of surprising mm -hmm. in today's times that it wasn't a little larger, but, um, you know. We had budgeted for some extra, yeah. anyway. Yeah. So that's a deficit to um, actual revenue or to Plan so the, the general fund, correct? <coughs> to plan revenue or, or what we've taken in? To the plan, yeah. Yeah, to the plan. Okay, plan. Over yeah. budget. It's really right. expensive. Over budget. Yeah, I was just, not over. just trying to figure out if it's due to delinquent taxes or if it's just, no. yeah, we no. just missed a mark on the revenues in general. It's no, not really revenues, it's really expenses exceeding yeah. right. the original plan. I mean, there's a lot of expenses going up. Right. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I, you can miss this by a lot and still not be, you know, so it's, it would be expected. Right. Wait, conditions are. I mean, my fine is like way over budget in certain items. It's like, oh, yeah. my grain bill is up, you know, yeah. right? Half a million. You know, those are the kind of numbers you're dealing with. It's like, oh, okay, that wasn't planned. Right. But the diesel fuel bill, you know, instead of being 75000 now it's 150. It's like, oh, <laughs> really hard right. to hit the mark on some, some stuff. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, this is something that we will dig into. Michelle and I have, yeah. I, I have, as you all know from my financial background, lots of thoughts on how I like to look at budgets and, and yeah. data. So we'll be creating some different, more kind of refined reporting to dig into these numbers a bit more. Yeah. Plus to your point, because costs are a little bit harder to predict, predict today, um, it's very important that we do build a little bit more detailed reporting than we've had to ha use in the past yeah. to really have a handle on, on where, where, the, where costs are and, and especially yeah. as we look to when we need to create right. the Next fiscal year. 24 budget, right. exactly. Um, like which, <laughs> you know, so. So it's the dark one. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, you can predict a lot of it, but yeah. it is still hard. And then with all the personnel changes here, that's been correct. Yeah. And that's a, that's another piece to it. I had intended to get a little further with some of this analysis to, yeah. to present you to you, but you know, it's fine. There's only so many hours in the day. Oh yeah, and we don't <laughs> want you, we don't want you to be using all the hours down here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, is that your report? Yeah. Okay. And then. Um, Michelle did complete the treasurer's financial management questionnaire. Um, which is a requirement as we get in through year end, there's essentially no change in the same, it's the same answers as oh, essentially yeah. we had last year. Yeah. Um, same responses. Yeah. Um, so the only, I think, tweak to it was the note about bank accounts, um, just because that, you know, we, we have changes in the accounts as we get into 23 that we will go over with the auditors, but that, that was it. It was no, no structural change to, yeah the way we, we are currently right. managing everything from an internal yep. control perspective. So assuming everyone is okay with the report, then if we can motion for uh, Chair Gardner to sign off on that report. Oh, that's um, gonna be signed off on? Correct. Okay, yep. so we need a motion for that. So moved. Oh. Judith made the motion? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Amy seconded it. Amy seconded it, perfect. I'll second it, sure. Okay. <laughs> All those in favor, please say aye. 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 The ayes appear to have it, they do have it. Um, so that takes care of the town treasury report. 
Next thing is a VCRD Community Leadership Summit attendee nomination. So there's an, and I August pro 10th. provided you the, the email, there's a leadership summit. Um, it's being held in Randolph. I'm, I, from what I understand in the past, some members of the planning commission, like a member of the planning commission has attended. I think Claris may have gone <clears throat> to the last one. Oh yeah. So I didn't know if the board had any thoughts on an, an attendee that you would yeah, it's <laughs> that's a good job for Carl. Carl's yeah. here. That's right. He's not. <laughs> Is he going to be around here August 10th? I would think so. Do they have a free meal down there? I think so. Oh, then he'll go. <laughs> <laughs> um, they did that. They did one of those um, vi uh, site visits from the Vermont Council on Rural Development and Hardware. Oh, really? In 2015. And there's a big planning session where we sat down and talked about what was important about the town. Yeah. And they hit on, you know, economic issues, you know, social issues, different things. And it really helped kind of drive some planned, some new plans for economic development, especially. That's what I was concerned about. And yeah. it, uh, and it, it was very you knew who supported it. Pretty much everybody supported it. So when you went to a hearing, you pull you put up those big those big uh, goals, and um, you just look at economic development and said, you know, this is what we wanted to do. And everybody said, yeah, this is, we all wanted to do it. How want to do it? Let's do it. Made it a lot easier to do things. Huh. It sounds very <clears throat> interesting. I mean, it would be something I would be interested in, except that we're in the midst of the audit at that point in time. Right. So it's a tough time. Hmm. So I think Carl probably would love going there. Well, who knows? I can send him an email and ask him. Or Judith. Um, I won't be the. I won't be around on the tenth. I don't believe. Is that a? Yeah. Yeah, that's right, Judith. Because I think you mentioned you. I'm going back. Can't attend the August eleventh. Yeah. Yeah. I won't be around that day. So if you don't get arrested, you think I'll get arrested? No, you never know. Are you going to see? No, I'm not. No, no. I think you are. The tenth is on Wednesday. Yeah. A boring old Wednesday. Is it during the day? I would assume so, yeah. Yeah. August 10th, is it August 10th, the Vermont Technical College. Oh, it's a VDC. <clears throat> yeah, so they'll have food and everything there. I bet you. Well, send Carl email. Okay, I'll ask Carl. Okay. Um, the next item discussion on capital improvement committee's annual request for information on future capital projects. Oh, so yes. that's that questionnaire that they always get. Yeah, I included this on the agenda, um, but the Capital Improvements Committee has yet to meet, and I believe they've only received one request. Um, I didn't know if the board had any thoughts or ideas. I know looking at last year, the items that were on that were upgrades to the town garage and the town office, which we certainly know that mm -hmm. we need to do um, to both. So I didn't know if you wanted me to at least mention to the Capital Improvements Committee that that may be something we would want to revisit? Or well, the town and garage, thing, we should, because we have this ARPA money, and that may be one of the projects that we present to everybody to see if that money could be spent on that project. Um, well, because that's a big project, <clears throat> and we have a big pot of money. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm in favor of talking to them about that. The thing about the town and garage thing is we have to get a plan. Yeah. And that means hiring somebody to mm -hmm. preliminary engineering study. Exactly. Right. Go up there, meet with some people. I I would like to do that. I'm sure Guthrie would. Mm -hmm. And start to move ahead. Now Well the first step I would take then is to set aside some is to do it. I said I'm on that on the capital improvement committee. Um, they said make sure you have any ideas that come up that you follow the process, which means fill out that questionnaire. And um, you might fill out the questionnaire and say, look, we'd like to go a step further, investigate the new town of Rarge, and um, uh, authorize an engineering study. And just, you know, it'll be, we throw, you know, $25,000 or something at it and just say, look, we want to have an engineering study, see what we need. And then pass that by the committee. And the same thing with, with the town offices, if you want to do that. You might not authorize the money, but you could author maybe, maybe possibly could authorize the money for that too, who knows? Um, there's also the water supply that we talked about. I know that's a that we have not gotten a ground a ground swallow support for that, and, and I'm not I could care one way or the other on that. I'm kind of ambivalent to that whole thing, but um, 
but that's another thing that keeps coming up. But we have not followed, we have not taken step forward with any process. And they want a process, right, Scott? He's on the committee too. Yeah, that's that's correct. Right, I think right. Ed, and, and Ed is looking to um, hold a meeting maybe in September because we really haven't had anything on the agenda. But no, John, John's correct. I mean, so so how do we move this ahead and get it out of just the board type of stuff? For this issue, you're on the correct. <laughs> okay, so you're going to have the meeting, and then do you pick? Are you going to pick a project? I mean, okay, so you've presented three projects. They're all expensive. Do we? How do you narrow it down to one? I think that's. I, mean, that's, 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 I, I think after we, we we might promote one of the projects or, or have them in some sort of sequential order, and then it'd be up to the select board to pick the projects in the end, right? Yeah, I don't. I don't think it really works on we pick a project. We, yeah. I mean, some of our lengthy conversations in the last few meetings were about the sidewalks. We don't. We have new sidewalks. And we thought, well, it would make sense to put, because these are all obviously long-term plans, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25-year plans, what makes the most sense, and not to pick a project, but should we start to allocate money for restoration, for maintenance, for upkeep of the sidewalks, for instance, and not just pick that, but what, what is logical for the town, and not to entertain a surprise in 10 years and say, well, you didn't allocate uh, I don't know, doing something with the sidewalks. And, and so I, I never really got the, I never really got the sense of picking a project, but if there's three projects or three issues that need to, that need long-term investment or putting money aside for, then they would be entertained, scrubbed, and then, and then presented to the select board um, within the um, capital improvement committee or the plan. <laughs> Suggested the possibility of creating line items for those those right. three projects and setting aside a certain amount of money each year and over time maybe you'll develop enough money so you can do an engineering study but you can do it quicker if you want to. Well, it would, because we've got the ARPA money coming up, right? We may want to, you know, we've got three quarters of a million dollars that we can put into a project and actually make a big difference. Right. So that's why I was trying to fast track it a little yeah. bit more and saying, well, this is not a 25 year set aside program, $3,000 a year for 25 years. No, I'm saying there's a pot of money coming up. Let's right. identify a project and well, start thinking about that. But, that's, but the, 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 capital, improve, the cap, capital Improvement Committee for the most part, and John, please, you've got a lot more experience than I do, is really, is really long, well, you do, but really long-term perspective. It's not, yeah. wow, this is a project that we have this ARPA money and we should be investing in now. That, I, I don't think that's really, what the committee reviews it's let's okay. set aside and allocate for long-term planning yeah yeah and i think there are some immediate needs especially like in the town office um yeah but the town office is a touchy thing because we almost need a new building well so that's agreed, the but there are some things that we could use now like furniture um I mean, I'm going to bring in a desk from home at some point and replace well, yeah, we, what well, I have in mind in my office because it just doesn't. But that's not really a capital yeah. project. That's something it's that we can just say. Credits. Well, this spent you know five thousand dollars. Right? Yeah. That's that's pocket change. They're looking for long-term yeah. projects, but yeah. what they're saying to me now is that they don't. They're not interested in setting aside money for a town garage when we're thinking of some more immediate need. But, but I think there are probably some immediate needs, like in the town garage, that will be significant enough dollars. The town garage, though, is a, is a project. I know, I know. And it really needs a new. I know. You know. I, 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 we have a certain amount of time to spend at ARPA funds. I would say that we don't rush out and spend all the money that we, no. have, we, we set aside some money for an that We fill out, have Gina fill out the survey. Yeah. And, and ask that we set aside, say, 25000 up to 25000 for uh, um, an engineering study for the town garage. I'd like that. Yeah. I, I think that'd be too. great. Okay, so. But then the town office, should there should be some funding going away to help, you know, set aside some money for an engineering study for, you know, our planning study. But where would it be, do we want to continue with this building or do we want to, create a new building, build a new building somewhere, or buy a building somewhere. No, so one of the reasons we bought this land over here by that and that was to put a town garage, right. a town uh, building. 
Right. A municipal building. Right. Right, right next door. So we have that land. Mm -hmm. And we've done some work for septic and this and that to find out if it would work. Mm -hmm. So that's that's another very expensive project. So you can't do a lot of expensive projects. Not all at once. But as far as fixing this building, you know, repairs, et cetera, we, ha we have been putting money aside for that in in our budget. There's 3000 a year or whatever it is. And we could spend that money on furniture or whatever we need to fix it yeah. you know, but we don't have we, what's that i'm sorry i'm just looking at the survey that will be prepared i mean these are the types of questions and issues that come up within the survey so yeah. one project might be you know the town garage one project might be right. the town offices or updating town offices you know you can categorize the need and what type of project it is, rationale for it. I mean, the, the survey kind of allows, it's just that, it's a survey. It allows an opportunity for kind of this conversation that we're having for various projects. We get the information, and then from that, you make the planning um, rather than, and I look forward to getting the results of the survey so that that can inform our planning. But we're not going to have a survey about whether to buy a desk or something. No. You know, we need to, yeah. we can buy things for the town office yeah. out of the budget that we already have. We can get the building painted out of the money that we already put aside. Do we do an addition on the building? I would not recommend that. The I'm building, just... it, it's got problems, water, it's small. We're not going to throw hundreds of thousands of dollars into this building. It's just not appropriate. For this site, but maybe we are. It's this we landlocked ought to, right now. Maybe we ought to do have. Maybe we ought to just put in a, a request to, to think about doing a planning assessment of what we would do. How we would. That's a good. A new building. Yeah, and you don't yeah. have to go and build it. You don't have to borrow the money, but at least you could start the footwork where you're planning out right. what might be the best choice and what size the building might be and where it might be located. Yeah. And right. and that's not going to cost us a zillion dollars to do. And we could probably use some operative money to do that. Yeah. Yes. Even if it's so, I would suggest that we thought the yep. surveys would, yep. at least those two things. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. But <laughs> I, I, I'm just saying that if we want to make some repairs on this building, we have some money budget. Right. If the, we the, the, worst thing about this, the worst thing about this building is there's not enough room. No. We can't overcome that. Right. And this flooring here creates a really bad back problem for me. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so you know, it's, been, it's been decided over the years that this building would eventually move to the historical society. Right. They and then have. we would build a new building. Yeah. So we've already kind of made that decision. So we haven't decided how big the building should be or any such thing, of course. But um, but we Maybe. do have money in the budget to go out and get some furniture. Yeah, and let's but let's. So would you mind ha having Gina fill out that survey for no. the CIC? No, I think we should. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. For, Perfect. I think these two projects should carry into this year, but we need to do something. Yes. In all fairness, with COVID and whatnot, there's reasons why this fell to the wayside. So I think now, though. We could put a little effort into doing, to your point, some studies and, and look at But the thing forward. is that if we're going to spend the ARPA money on a project or two, we want it, according to what Judith has said and other people have said, we want to put it up to voters yeah. on what to do with the money. But we're not clear on the delineation of the money where we can spend it. We're still not clear on that. Right. So, anyway, doing yeah. this study or plan for those two projects is yep. good. Okay, we good? We good. Okay. So um, the next item is preview of 2022-23 property tax rates. Oh yeah, I saw yeah. that somewhere. Yep. So I've updated the tax rate calculation based on the latest uh, grand list mm. and rates that we've received from the, uh, for the schools. Yeah. Um, so essentially, the overall, I mean, I've given some specifics. Um, the, the rates, homestead and non homestead, um, decreased for the school tax rate. And then, likewise, as well, for the overall calculated tax rates, um, we've gone down for homestead 3.8%, and then for non homestead 2.4%. 
and then we will continue. We will reevaluate. I will reevaluate these calculations again once as right. the listers are still working through specifics of the grand list, and we'll present to you rates that will hopefully be set at the uh, August first meeting. Yep. And because you're going to play off the budget too, the money that you need. Yeah, the, yeah, it's updated with the current. Yeah, the right. budget for yeah. correct. How's Ross doing? Last I've heard, he is recovering. So what's wrong with Ross? I hadn't heard that. We can talk about it later. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay so that sounds good on the property tax rate. Um, <laughs> anybody have any questions on that? No. Uh, consideration of VTrans FY 2023 Federal Roads Grants. I've received the grant agreement um, for the $56,000 to replace the culvert on Cherry Tree Hill Road. Yep. Uh, so really just seeking the board's approval for Chair Gardner to, uh, or well, really, no, I'm sorry, the board to authorize me. I think I'm the one that can yeah, sign that I, sign I sign this. Yes, I'm sorry, to authorize So you need a motion me. to authorize you to sign that? Correct. Guthrie and I actually went out on Thursday and drove kind of all the construction that's underway, which we'll get into the next one, um, the next next agenda item. But uh, yeah. so we, we looked at these culverts. So so it's how much is the grant for? Fifty six. Fifty six thousand. Yeah. So. And we just need a motion to have Gina sign that. So moved. Judith made it. Who's who made the second? John. John made the second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 The yeah, ayes appear to have it as you have it. So Dina can sign that. That's great. Um, where, can I ask you one, one question before we move on? Where's where, where is, where is it on Quaker Road? Quick, it's on Cherry Tree. Cherry. Oh, Cherry Trail? Uh, just around the corner up there? No, I think it's probably It's down the there. one that's near the trailhead parking. Oh, it's that one? It's that one. It's the one that's near the trailhead parking. So it's, it's not the, the one at the bottom yeah, of the gully. The it's it's the one that's up the hill. Yeah, I do that feel. Uh, yeah, up by water there. Awful water there. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of water, a lot of water, water through there. there. Yeah. So wet right there. Right yeah. on the left right there. But that on the left when you go on Quaker on uh, the cherry tree. No, you go up you're on Cherry Tree Road. Mm -hmm. And then you go through the big dip. Yeah. You go up yeah. the top of the Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Quaker, yes. If you made a left on Cherry Tree, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go through the big dip, start coming back up. And you know how you have the trailhead parking there right on the right? Yeah. At that point, it's right right before the trailhead parking. Oh, yeah. Okay. Wow, there's so much water coming down there. Yeah. Wicked. So you're going to put it in a box You can just hear the water. Well, they're going to put it in a bigger culvert. It says the rusted down is two foot, yeah. so I don't know how big it's going to be. Huh. All bigger right. Bigger than what it is. Um, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so now the next thing is the county road project. Yes. I so think. so is that, are they doing that right now? They started today. I haven't driven over there, but yes. Yeah, so Pike yeah. was on site starting today yeah. and they are starting to reclaim Their the pavement. So area. yeah, so it will become gravel Yeah. Um, at some point here very soon. And uh, it will remain gravel until late August yeah. um, to allow time for the culvert work to yeah. be completed. We don't yet have the finalized schedule for the culvert work partly because Blue Mountain is trying to figure out the timing very specifically. They're trying, we're trying to minimize the road closure as much as possible. Um, so they're trying to stage the work yeah. so that they can kind of take each area down separately so we don't have two sections of the road closed at the same so time. So is it closed now? It's not closed. It will not be closed at all until the culvert work begins. Oh, okay, good. Because we, and I we just, both have hooked up yeah, and I'm like, oh. And just so the board knows, I'm using Front Porch Forum as a means to communicate yeah. um, to good. to the town. So I did put a post last week to, to let everyone know this was coming. Um, so it's, uh, like I said, I, I'll probably make a run out there at some point this week to take a look. But uh, but yeah, it's, um, it's going to become gravel. The other piece I wanted to go over with you is I did receive the updated quote from Pike for all the paving work. Um, and it is, as you would expect, higher than, than anything you, you've seen previously. So the latest update that, um, that I had from Bruce, it was at a 986, 986,000 for their, their quote. It's now at a million 56, a million 57 if I round. Um, 
The original quote, just to give you a frame of reference from, I found the date of May 24th of 2021 was 793,000. Oh, wow. So we're, we're 263,000 up from the original for this project. Well, oil just went down, so. The oil did go down a little bit. Yes, I'm, I'm in close contact with Tyson with Pike. Um, so, you know, obviously, you know, with, with it, we'll see what where the numbers are. We could be a little less than this. That's his hope as well. Yeah. Um, because the prices have dropped a little bit. Right. Um, but he did send me the history of it's it's pretty amazing when you see what's what's happened to the to the prices. Um, oh, yeah. Great. This year. Uh -huh. So um, but I just wanted yeah. to. So I'm going to be digging into this project a lot more um, to, to really get a handle on on the costs and kind of what has been spent to date. Everything in our general ledger, it's, it's there's a lot of costs that kind of go into one fund. And I think some people knew in their head where things were. Well, I need to dig into the invoices and actually know what we've spent to date on this project and yeah. then kind of where we're going. But um, really, Pike is the only number from any update you guys have seen that's really has changed. Um, yeah, they're the ones so dependent on the, the culvert's going to be what we the culverts have. already have been purchased. And, yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And yeah, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. uh, it, yeah, it is what it is, but we certainly want to get a handle again. Oh yeah. We should be, I mean, it's a million bucks. Yeah. And the state's paying part of that. Yeah. We do have some grants. 250 or something. Yeah. Yeah, we have yeah. about, I think we have about 360000 in total oh, really? in grants. Well, that'll help. To help cover culvert work yeah. and... Oh, and yeah, paving. cover them both. Yeah. Because right. we have a paving grant and a culvert. Correct. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, so that's it on your yes. report. So I can move to the next item. Discussion on town management and why COVID-19. We're yes. at low. Cases have continued to drop. Okay. So. Yeah, I was hearing kind of today about the new variant and how they're worried about it. Well, because vaccines are not effective, and they or they're not sure. That's what they were saying about. about and then, then by the time you get the another vaccine for the new variant, you're already behind the eight ball because a new variant's come along. It's kind of interesting. Yeah. It's kind of yeah. scary. Kind of scary. It just mm -hmm. keeps going round and round. And everyone's like, you know, heck with it. You know, they're sick of it. And so, you know, very few people mask, some do, but it was it was an interesting report. Okay, so that's it. Mm -hmm. um, so the next thing is the access permits. Yes, we have two access permits. These are all both related to um, an approved subdivision on Wheeler Road. That was recently approved. Yeah. It's called the kitchen sink yep. uh, subdivision. Yep. Um, Road Foreman Perry has already approved both of the, the curb cuts. So um, given that we only have two members here, I think if the board is comfortable with approving these curb cuts, but they're essentially right in line with what the subdivision that was recently approved um, yeah. are. So this is just the next step in that process. Right, so you're just at, I think that only one of us has to sign. I if the board can oh, pass a motion, okay. correct. And yeah. then I would like to add, if possible, um, 22041, that's the um, Comline Sun sub uh, curb cut or access. Oh, you mean up on trail road? Yeah, up on, yeah. We, I, forgot. I thought we did it last I, time. You did, I forgot to get you guys to sign it. Oh, okay. Rookie mistake. So if we could just add to this motion for to authorize Whoa. Chair Gardner to sign that, then I can mail them their actual. Is this the other one here, or these, there's two here? I there. provided the two. I didn't provide this one. But what's the name of this one? It's the uh, the Harry uh, Sun. Yeah, In it's the Harry Sun. Kyle, blah, blah. Kyle Comline. Yeah, it's on uh, it's right Trail Road. This is it's the one where um, yeah, the trench remember it's where road. Kyle wanted to um, say certain things about. Digging across the road. Mm -hmm. Right, I remember that. Yeah. Right, and yeah. add in language, but yeah. it, it was really unnecessary because the utility has their own requirements. Anyway. It, yeah, yeah. We did vote on it last week. We did. We voted on it last yeah. week. So I guess if you want, if we want to make a motion that says I can sign on those three. Yes. Curb so, cuts. so these. 
kitchen sink holding and there's two of them they're both the same both the same it's name? two different it's yes it's both under the same name because it's all connected to the kitchen sink holding subdivision so wait a minute just out of curiosity so they're making two access this is two curb cuts yes on wheel road yes was there a map included i didn't see a map with the app yeah um there wasn't with this um because not with the access i think because it was all the next step in the subdivision um my guess is it's probably with the with the subdivision paperwork but i yeah usually they submit it with the access permit application because yeah i think bruce was handling all of these and kind of passed this over to me in the in the transition so um hmm. yeah it, it, these did not have have that information for them. okay um so just out of curiosity there was already an access permit there for Sanford Song's trailers, but was that never, he never had an access permit there probably. Mm. Is that going through that? You don't know, because you don't, I don't know the history know. of it. I don't know mm. the specific There's a big thing. history of that one. <clears throat> yeah. A lot. I, yeah I, and it joins my, one of my farms on the back. Mm. So I got the information in the mail, which I didn't open it. So I probably have a map at home, actually. <laughs> so it does say this, this sketch drawings have to be included with this. Is there is no sketch here? No, uh, there were actually none in the file. No sketch. Mm -hmm. Huh. So what do you think? I mean, and then the mailing address is 438 Gallison Hill Road. That's where the guy must live. Right. Right. Oh, okay. And this is this is on uh, Schoolhouse Road is 790 feet to Schoolhouse Road, and then the other one's on 1,050 feet to Schoolhouse Road. So yeah, but see, you know, you know where it is, right? But Guthrie's building right there, too. It's all the same. It's all the same kind so, of plot of land. Okay. There's a cemetery in between it, the old cemetery. Guthrie's building on one side of it, and then that access must be on the other side, yep. which is where Sanderson's lot was, is, yep. but it got sold to this place. And that's where those trailers are parked that um, the guy at the end of the road had all the problem with, took the town to court, um, oh, environmental court and all that. Yeah. What's his name on the end of the road? It's a pilot. He's not happy with the town. Oh. Yeah, but anyway. So those trailers are there, or they were there, but I wondered where the access permit was, but the access is, it must be right near there. It's got it. So that we'd end up with three, three accesses there eventually? Well, I, I don't know whether that was ever a permitted access for Sampson in his trailers. Oh yeah. I don't know. It, it, he might just, know. just. He just parked used it. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know if so, the trailers. Does everybody feel comfortable voting on this? Well, if Godfrey looked at it, I'm fine with it. Yeah. yeah. You, if Guthrie's me? fine with it, I'm fine with it. Yeah. I okay. Know. I know where it is. But there's no traffic on the road. That's the thing. It's yeah, he was well versed on this because I think he was involved in the. Well, DRB. he's like he lives next door. He was involved in the DRB part of this as well. Yeah. So. Yeah. In the road at dead ends, at, mm -hmm. what's his name? This place, right beyond that. The road forks. Wheel road goes like this. Schoolhouse road takes a left. So oh, you. Yeah. So um. We would approve we this. We would vote to approve to approve this. Yes. Um, that would be so. I make a motion that we approve the access curb cut applications for kitchen holdings, um, for the site to 790 feet to Schoolhouse Road, and the other one, which is 438. Well, excuse me, which is 1,050. Uh, feet to Schoolhouse Road. Yes, it's further down the road. Right. Yeah. But you just we want to make sure that we have those numbers in there just so Well you just that, put the numbers from the access permit. Well access permits one twenty eight, access permits one twenty eight. No, there's two. There's, there's two twenty eight and twenty nine. Yeah, twenty six and seven. I have two two zero two six and two two zero two seven. Twenty six and twenty seven. Yeah. Oh okay. That's right there. Yep. Twenty yeah, zero two six and zero two seven. How's so that? that's where you're approving. Okay. Yeah. So we're gonna approve the access permits number 22026 and 22-027 um, for curb cuts uh, to uh, kitchen sink holdings LLC. And and, but the thing is, you have to have someone, one of us sign it. And have um, Chip, would it be you or Chair, Chair Gardner yeah. sign yeah. it? And what's the other one? And then 22041. And the name on that is? Comline, K O M L I N E, and Sun, S O N. That one's already been approved, though. Yes, that yeah. was approved by motion, but now we're sign. really just authorizing him to sign. Yeah. Chair Gardner to sign. Whew. That's a tough one. I hope you got it. <laughs> All words in the link. Okay. <laughs> Good enough. Well, thank you. So, that, so. And I'll sign that. Do we have a second? Second. I jumped. I'm sorry. Okay. That's okay. 
Uh, all those in favor, please say off. Hi. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It's not very clean, but she'll clean it up. Yeah. Well, okay. anyway, this is done. It's, it's, it's this, close this, enough. Yeah. Thank you. Good. Okay, the next thing we have are the warrants, um, which I can pass around. Yeah, I haven't seen them. Yeah, I've got them right here, and I look out them quickly. And there is a scan on the website. No, I didn't look. Well, I was meeting for those that are oh, physically. I usually go on and before the meeting and look at it, and I didn't say. I looked at other stuff, like the town plan and stuff, believe it or not. So the sand, the sand all got done, right? From mm -hmm. the pages. So it's in, they got taken out of the <clears throat> right budget for 2022. The sand. I see the, the invoices are here. Thousand bucks for water, you know. Should have had a goal. What is what's the front co post of five thousand fifty nine dollars to Fairfield? That's for the repairs in the Mack truck. It looks like. Okay. It's a post um, piece of machinery in the front of the truck. Okay. Yes. Okay. That's probably the one. Those that parts got were like delivered on, on Thursday. Yeah, right on my. Yeah, they were delivered it. on Thursday. And the comment from the front office was, "Guthrie, you got some heavy stuff delivered to the office." Yeah. So. Too heavy box. It was heavy. Yes. It was pretty heavy. But that's the stuff that can kill your budget too. Yes. Yeah. All of a sudden, you know, it might have been three thousand a year ago. Now it's five. Yeah. That's what. Right. That's what's happening to us too. Yeah. It's like oh, 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 nice. So that money went back to the state. That's the money from Sandy Pines. There's yes. certain percentage always Yeah, that's the annual state. payment, yeah. correct. Yeah. I don't have any other questions. Sure. I'm not going to remind you. Don't keep it. Keep it? No. No, I'm not going to keep it. I know how you are. You can pass it on that you can keep. 7 Eleven, right? No, I didn't buy it to 7 Eleven. What's that? Oh, never mind. 7 Eleven is a date. And given yes. that we don't have three board members here, we would need a motion to authorize Chair Gardner to sign. Oh, that's right. We don't. Yeah. Right. I already signed it, but I was just doing that. Yeah, I would move to authorize Chair Gardner to sign the warrant on behalf of the select board. Second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 So you, you don't have to sign it. <laughs> you have to look at it. Anyway. Yeah. Okay. So what's the next thing? Personnel matters. We're getting here. Well, we have permit applications report. So we've issued five per new applicants, or no, we've received five new applications. And I just want to point out that one of these permits was actually issued by the new zoning administrator. So, mm. all right. Well, five. That's and one of the people. And he, did. and he got to do it on one of my, on my permits. So. <laughs> and, and one of the people who got a, a permit was, um, is a, a uh, what do you call it? Uh, environmental permits coordinator for the state. Oh, really? In Barry and in St. John's, where he works in both places. Oh, cool. Yeah. Nice. You might know him, Judith. Um. Peter. Okay. Yeah. I, I'm not seeing the name. Oh. Um, yeah. It's the third one, 22047. Yeah. Okay. I didn't yeah. know he lived in town. Cool. Hmm. That's pretty cool. There's three three people with some sort of connections to yep. to the town and to well to the town obviously and to and to anyway government work. So is there anything else that we have to go over with? We just have our meeting schedule. Yep. And that's, that's all I see. That's it. Yeah. So next we would go into personal matters. Yeah. So we could tell. Um, I don't know if we need 
executive session for all. Um, I don't know if you want to just peek at the memo. I'm looking at memo. I don't see, I, mean, I don't, okay, so as far as municipal systems go, that doesn't have to be an executive session, does it? Mm -hmm. No. I don't think so. We can talk mm -hmm. about the hours. Um, and then I and have. And what about the zoning administrator? So for the zoning <laughs> administrator, um, so to give you all a little additional background, the previous TA <coughs> slash ZA um, had a town issued cell phone. We no longer, we closed that um, portion of the account. Yeah. So the current ZA, Tyson, um, will regularly, regularly conduct business on his cell phone. So I'm requesting that we, uh, it, it's around 42 a month um, for us to, to issue a cell phone. But because he already has one, um, the preference is for him to maintain his own. Yeah. Um, so his phone number is actually on the website. Um, he actually asked me to do that because he wanted people to have his cell phone. So yeah. I'm asking the board to authorize a $40 mobile stipend. Can yeah. we, can we talk about the use of a separate cell phone versus him using his personal cell phone because his communications in his capacity as a ZA are all public? versus his private communications aren't. And it might be easier to maintain that distinction by having separate cell phones. And almost I was thinking all, that same thing. Yeah, almost all yeah. state employees have a separate cell phone. Like I can't, you know, I always use my work cell phone when doing work business um, because any and everything, you know, I might do is all, it can be public. So I think it might get, um, how do they track the public use of that phone? I'm just curious because a lot of corporations have gone away from the dual phones because there's Outlook apps that are on the phone. You're not actually, so I don't know how. Yeah, yeah. It, it's just, you know, a, a number of public employees have gotten in trouble, not trouble, but the state has gotten in trouble because there have been conversations, state related or public conversations start, started on private cell phones that the person thought were private, but in fact were public. And to maintain that distinction, the state at least has made the determination that it's better to separate the two and to always have a... No, I don't point, understand. Is, is what happens if they go into discovery mode, somebody's getting sued as an issue, they can they, the, the attorneys can ask for that cell phone the cell phones and they're not going to pick out what's public and what's private. They're taking the old cell phone and they're taking all the call logs. Yeah. And, and all of his communications should be, you know, all of his communications are public record. So I know, but if the calls aren't being recorded, I guess that's what I'm trying to figure out what the, what the benefit is to that. Um, I know for me personally, I, I mean, I haven't asked for a company phone. I mean, my cell phone number will likewise go on, it won't go on the website, but I don't personally want to have two phones. Um, yeah. And I, Tyson and I did discuss this, and this was his mm. preference as well. But um, does he understand that some of the conversations will be public, is what Judith is saying. Mm -hmm. I know, but are we recording? So is the state recording all calls well, that go into those? Text into messages those? are right in there, too. Yeah, text messages, emails. Anything on your phone? Well, emails, again, go through an Outlook app that's not connected to a cell phone anymore. At least for us, the state may operate differently. I have an Outlook app on my personal phone. That's how all corporations, Microsoft 365, you can download an Outlook app onto your phone. The emails are in our server. They are in no way connected to my phone through the Microsoft 365 Outlook app. You're not actually logging into Exchange anymore the old school way. Mm -hmm. This is the new way of, of doing things. This is how a lot of corporations, because corporations likewise get phone right. record subpoenaed and corporations have moved away from this with Microsoft 365 was really the game changer for that and stopped issuing so secondary what's the, cell phones. What's the danger though? I mean, if your phone is, you understand it's going to be public is what you're saying, right? The cell phone, because he's using it for town business, all those conversations have to be public knowledge. And we don't know the difference between the town business and his personal business. Yes. Well, he, actually has Someone number, is, he actually has two numbers connected. He has a Google phone number that's set up that is an 802 that. number that's going into that phone that is separate from his personal number. Oh. The number that is on the website is not his personal phone. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that's, that's I, I know, 
he has a separate right. number that's his professional cell number that's different from his personal cell number. Yes. Okay. All right. That's yes. a bit so that's a different yeah. than what was being yeah. described yeah. or what I heard. Right. It's a different. No, that's fine. Yeah. Right. It's a, yeah. He did that because his personal number is not an 802. Um, right. So it's he wanted only. it to be an 802 number. So that's yeah. why he did that. So the number that we're actually publishing is the 802. Oh. So that might be, that should be fine. I think that's perfect. And I can tell you that other towns are yeah. doing this yeah. because. I didn't think of that. I, I thought it was. Well, it's the same phone. Yeah, it is a separate number. Um, oh, but but yeah, and I can tell you other phone other towns are doing this. This question did recently come up in one of the listservs. And ironically enough, connected to a zoning administrator position because towns are starting to issue. It sounds like do this this mobile stipend option. Yeah, that sounds great. Perfect. But yes, he does have an 802 number. I'm sorry, that is separate. It's just he is using his personal phone, but it is, yeah. Right. And right. I mean, I could likewise do the same thing. It's just my number doesn't need to be as publicly out there as, as his does. Yeah, so. understood, yeah. That makes common sense to me. I mean, I won't vote on whether they give him the 40 bucks. I'll recuse myself, of course. But but I think we, you should make the motion to give him the $40 for the stipend. Right. Right. has a question. Yeah. No, I, I'm just... Why are you recusing? I'm sorry. We've he's already been. He's now the. Uh, no, but I mean, it, it, it looks like if I'm trying to steer money towards somebody I know, then I would recuse myself from that vote. That's all. So if someone says, "Oh, you're giving him forty bucks." You know that person, right? Well, I so whenever you sign the payroll, I mean, yeah. You know what I think? What, yeah. Where? How do you draw a distinction? I'm just not. Okay, I didn't marry me. This was my proposal, my oh, idea. Okay. So <laughs> it's sure it ain't mine. <laughs> I'll tell you that. It's fine with me. Yeah. I just, you know, it and I was matter. just trying to duplicate, you know, or come close. So forty dollars seemed fair to me. Um, yeah, but, no, I'd, I'd move for approving that or authorizing that. So we should have a motion. I'll well, second it. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 <laughs> okay. So, okay, so the question was, do we have to go into executive session? I mean, unless you want to discuss the municipal assistant position. Well, I, I think would. there are some other topics that may merit executive session, but not. I not this one. We can talk about municipal assistant stuff right now, right? Without going into executive. I mean, I, I read the, the memo. It's just general information about the process of hiring the new Denise. <clears throat> yes. I mean, I have some questions about it, but. I don't think that merits going to executive session. Okay. Um, I agree. Yeah. Okay. Okay, close so like, Let's chat. Yeah, let's chat. Um, so, what are you thinking? We, we've got to hire somebody. How many hours a week? I mean, I, in discussion with both the current municipal assistant and the town clerk, Yep. and the treasurer, yeah. I think we need to replace the position as is, which is a full-time position. And not not fold in other duties with that, because I know that that was kind of being bantied around a little bit before, but so we're just gonna yeah. do. It's, it's kind of confusing to me what some of the previous conversations have been, because I understand there were conversations in the fall that essentially kept the staff that we have in place today. The, the proposal that was put forth was, a full-time TA, a part-time ZA, a full-time treasurer, full-time municipal assistant, and a full-time town clerk. I don't know where the secondary conversations went when it was then that Bruce would not continue as TA and potentially become ZA, and then obviously that didn't happen, but, you know. Um, I, it looks like now that that's, my question is a little bit redundant because we've hired people in exactly the same capacity as they were. We were talking before about reconfiguring things a little bit, but it seems like we probably don't need to now because we have everybody we need. We found a treasurer. We found, a, I mean, I think we were thinking that maybe the new assistant would do some of the treasury work or something, which I'm sure he or she will probably still be doing, but you know, to the same extent that Denise does. I mean, is there enough work to keep them all busy? <clears throat> yes, there is. There's more. I would like to leverage that position more than it has been thus far. Um, yeah. There's a lot of administrative tasks being done by the TA, being yeah. done by the ZA, 
that we could leverage that position a little bit more to do, especially if we got a skill set. And when you see in the job description, I would love to get somebody who would have the capacity to update the website. That actually takes a fair amount of time, and I am the one doing that. Um, so it would be great to, to seek some skill set to be able to take some of that workload off of. Right. I mean, I think what was going on is Bruce was doing a lot of hours. And so now we're breaking up that position and putting in forth more people, dividing it. He, he was doing more th things he liked, too. He liked doing the website pretty yeah, well. Yeah, he did. Yeah, but he, I mean, he I mean in all honesty, I mean, I, do, I don't do want to, you know, he had asked me if I was going to have, there's, there are a lot of things I have to do for the ZA that need to yeah. go on the website. Um, and I right now I'm doing those things for Tyson, mostly yeah. because, frankly, the website is cumbersome to update. It's yeah. very easy to make a mistake, and it is not something you want to make a mistake on. Yeah. So I do not want multiple people updating the website. Right. So it needs to be one person. Mm -hmm. yes. So right now, that's me. There's no one else that can do that. So yeah. if we can get that skill set, it would certainly help. Yeah. And yes, to your point, I think there are some things, you know, I think there were some things that the previous TA like to do, like to kind of maintain control of. I'm trying to relinquish and yeah. focus on some other things that weren't being focused on right. at that time as well. So, right. and then also, I mean, the front desk can get very busy. Yeah. Friday, it was practically an open door for from nine to 12 when we were open. It was in, for some reason, I, Mondays and Fridays are really bad, but Friday was, was kind of funny, not in a ha ha way, because they were both quite stressed because they couldn't get anything else done because it was just constant flow of people coming in here. Well, you know, we're not, we're not in the office, so it's hard for us to really assess what's going on. I think that you're in a position where you can figure out what we need. So we don't really know. I mean, Bruce is doing a lot of work. We know that. Mm -hmm. um, well, uh, how would you want to make changes <laughs> to the description and the recommended minimal, minimum qualifications and knowledge and skills? Well, we already, I, we already have. This is an amended. This is not the original. This is a revised municipal assistant job description. It is much more robust than what is existing today. Okay. <laughs> you know, whether we get someone with the skill set <clears throat> from a computer perspective to do website and things like that will remain to be seen. Um, but frankly, I mean, the, the pay rate will also be adjusted based on, you know, what we may or may not find. I mean, we're looking for the right person. Mm -hmm. Going to look for that right fit. So where you have education and experience, you have associate's degree or high school diploma, GED, and two years. Um, they're not, you know, those associate's degree has two more years added to high school or GED. So... I'm just wondering why it's... A yeah, this is how the current one is worded. So I copied what was existing today. Um, you would probably do a different level of experience for the associate's degree and, and more um, experience time for the, for the high school diploma and GED. That's what I would say. <clears throat> if somebody came here with a, with a, a, a two-year associate's degree in computer sciences, you wouldn't expect them to have to have the same amount of experience as somebody with just a high school diploma. Yeah, I think the way this is supposed to read, and the other one is worded weirdly too, and I wasn't sure how to word this. Mm. I think it's intended to be associate's degree or high school diploma and two years. So right. it's okay. high school diploma is connected to the two years. Exactly. So yeah, it's it was oddly worded before, but I, I that one thing I thought of doing was associate's degree or and then maybe moving the high school diploma GED down to a separate bullet. Yeah. I don't know. Do you guys yeah. think that makes more sense? Clearer. Okay. Or start with high school diploma GED and two years experience blah, or, blah, blah, or associate's degree. Good idea. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. I will make that revision. And where are you going to um, put this advertise? We, Rosie and I have discussed that we would start with I don't, we both agree we don't really want to go an Indeed route right off the bat because yeah. you just get a whole bunch of people that are not really fit for the position. So mm -hmm. there are a whole bunch of listservs, MuniNet, um, Rosie would put it on the town clerk. There's likely even a town treasurer because, you know, anybody with these skill sets could be crossing all of that. We would go with VLCT, um, probably yeah. put it on Front Porch Forum too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, You're sure that it's going to be here. Yeah. yeah. Would love it if there's someone in the community that <clears throat> it's a good job. We're fun. It's a good place to work. I've always said that. 
<clears throat> huh, okay, so the question is, we should probably start advertising. That's what I'm asking, if the board would so. authorize me to start for Rosie and I and Michelle will get together then and mm -hmm. get this posted out there and... Uh, Go for it. Yeah. All right. Thanks, so, yeah. Yep. And Rosie thinks there's enough work. <clears throat> Rosie, at the mention of this position going anything less than part time, was very visibly concerned. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, because we're bump, bumping up, of course, our salaries in the town office significantly. Yes. Uh, that was our concern, I think. You know, leading up to this point. Right. But it looks like that's what we're gonna have to do. I mean, one thing about spreading all the duties among a bunch of people is it lessens the risk if someone leaves. And that's right. kind of where we were kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place before, is that everything was centered in one person. And you're like, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. If that person leaves, we're in trouble. This way, you know, you're less vulnerable to that. Well, my management style in general is very much not that, so. Yeah, but you're, you're good at um, assigning duties outside your realm, keeping a realm relatively small and having everyone have their own little things to do, which means, oh, if one person leaves, not such a big deal. Much, much, much easier to replace someone when they don't have everything to do. So well, that's what we're coming to. Anyone. What's that? <laughs> we don't no, no, it's just- We don't replace anyone that we just hired. We're very happy. No, no, we're not trying to do that, but people leave for di different yeah. reasons. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so, I guess that's where we're at. It, does, it just bumps up the salary and it makes the town office a little more crowded because there's more people in here. And of course, that's one of the reasons we have to think about a new building because it's too small. So, so approval by consensus is appropriate? As far as the advertising goes? I yeah. would think so. Yeah. 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 Sure. Do us proud. Okay. So is there anything else you need to talk about as far as that position goes? Mm -mm. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. The only other piece that's on here that I think is certainly appropriate for um, open session is a retirement celebration for Denise and for Don. Um, just requesting the board, Rosie and I have just been talking about what to do and um, potentially something for late August. It will be after Denise actually leaves, only because Denise is leaving right as we're getting through the election. So we just, yeah. between the audit, between the election, just yeah. no one has time. I mean, we focus yeah. needs to be on the work, not yeah. on party planning. Not trying to sound It all sounds mean, good, but, I mean. Um, but yeah, just wondering if the board would just authorize a, you know, a, yeah. we're, we had no, we're not looking to spend. We're just thinking if we can get some mild light catering yeah. and. We're thinking of some kind of picnic type, you know, thing, something very casual and just right. fun, but an opportunity to yes. thank these nice. individuals and very so. Nice. So five hundred bucks is reasonable. Find try to find a date. Yeah, exactly. And uh, that is certainly fine with me. I don't know about everybody else, but I would think so. Sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's it's fine. appropriate. And it's too bad that Bruce is not going to want to participate in something like that, but that's the way it goes. Yeah. Yeah, but I know that Dawn and Denise would definitely appreciate it. Yeah. Yep. So I don't think any of that needs to go into executive session. Mm -hmm. And anything else? Not for this one. If you want to go into executive, there's just a couple things right, that I would mention there. Performance feedback, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Just some you feedback want to do that? on the Behavior transition. Feedback. Yep. Okay. Then we'll do it. So we need a motion to go into executive <laughs> session under. You know the appropriate VSA three one three A three. Close okay. enough. You're gonna do it. That's the exception. Okay. Oh. You want me to do that? Something. I make a motion. We go into executive session to talk about um, pers personnel matters, personnel yeah. feedback. Um, in the exemption, what VSA three thirteen A three. Yeah. Close uh, enough. We have a second. Uh, do the second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 So we're out of executive session. Oh, and is your recorder on? Okay. We're out of executive executive session. No action taken. That's it.
Uh -huh. make a motion we adjourn. Oh, okay, that's the next step. Favorite <laughs> motion. Uh, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 aye.